One of Aotearoa's most well-known animals would have to be this guy, the ancient tuatara, our very own living dinosaur. But despite being so well known, we'd be very lucky to meet one. Why is that? Well, tuatara are now extinct on the mainland and can only be found on offshore islands or in sanctuaries. However, their luck is about to change thanks to the innovative Head Start program at Auckland Zoo. Michelle, why do tuatara need a Head Start? Basically it's because of all the introduced pests and predators that we now have in New Zealand. Um, they didn't evolve with the defences to be able to cope with them, so basically they have no chance whatsoever. So what's involved in the, in the Head Start programme? We have a group of breeding adults here at the zoo and they'll lay their eggs. We'll then excavate those burrows, take the eggs and send them down to Victoria University in Wellington for incubation. Once the babies hatch down here, they come back to us here at the zoo and we raise them until they're big enough to be released back onto the islands where their parents came from. And how long does it take until they are big enough? Uh, a good few years, maybe up to four or five years until they get big enough. How long can a tuatara live? No one really knows yet, but um, we sort of estimate around 100 to perhaps even up to 150. So this is one of the babies. Do we know how old he is? He's just over two years old. His wee spikes are just starting to grow. What are the wee spines for? They're not actually used for defence or anything. They're actually really soft and flexible. What the male tuatara will do, they'll either puff the back of the neck up or their neck crest and raise those spines when they're courting a female, but they'll also do it when they see another male. What you might not know about tuatara is that they are a reptile, but they're not a lizard, and they've been here so long, they were here when dinosaurs roamed the earth. What do they eat? Uh, here at the zoo we feed them on small locusts and crickets. During summer we'll feed them more than what we do during winter. Winter they'll slow right down. They basically take on the temperature of the environment around them. How long do tuatara sit on their eggs for? They won't actually sit on them. They'll build, um, dig a burrow, lay the eggs and then cover the burrow back over. Incubation is actually for nearly a year. Something that's really interesting about these guys is the temperature of the soil will actually determine what sex to a tara hatch. Higher temperature will actually produce males, cooler temperature will produce females. Can you manipulate that? Absolutely, so that's one of the great things that this research has actually given us the tool to be able to choose. So it's really handy in a breeding program to then choose the ratio of males to females. Māori considered tuatara to be guardians or kaitiaki of knowledge and there is something about these ancient creatures which does give them an air of wisdom. Tuatara can live a very long time, probably much longer than I will, and thanks to initiatives like the Tuatara Head Start program here at Auckland Zoo, their future's looking brighter and brighter.